What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I can't believe, I actually can't believe that this time last year, I was having one of the best but worst experiences of my life, AKA I was in labor with this little guy because it's your birthday tomorrow. Woo! Flashback to this time last year. <laughs> Yeah, good times, right? If you followed my channel last year, you would know that I was so excited for labor and I'm glad I was excited, but wow. It was so much more intense than I anticipated, which sounds crazy, but I was just super excited for it. I got the best little gift out of it all. Oh no, that's my mic, that's my mic, that's my mic. Now he thinks it's a game, now he thinks it's a game. <laughs> Daddy can hold you. You're too tall for my shot. It's cause you're too short. <laughs> no, I'm like fun size. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, good. So like all fabulous birthdays, I like to film me making a cake. This has kind of become an accidental tradition, like when it's Kurt's birthday, my birthday, my mom's birthday, my sister's birthday, and now, Fox's birthday. This is my first birthday cake as a mother, and in true Stevenson style, which is my last name, but soon it won't be my last name. And everyone in our family, we always pick our childhood birthday cakes out of this book. If you're an Aussie child from the 90s. Don't limit it to 90s, I was in the 80s, we had them. Okay, 80s, 80s and 90s kids, I'm sure. This is like the new one, new. I think I was like seven when we got this one. But when was this? Surely it has a date. 2002, so that was like nearly 20 years ago. Well, that's crazy. We have like all the super old school ones as well. A week before our birthday, we got to go through this book and like pick our favorite cake, pool party cakes, the Barbie cakes, where you know how like the bottom of the Barbie is like a cake. And anyway, it's also become an accidental tradition that everyone on their first birthday just gets a beautiful number one decorated really pretty. So all I'm really using from the book is like the shape. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm just gonna use how they made the one. We might say bye. Oh, <laughs> I'll see you when your cake is made. Okay, come say on. Say bye. I don't know, this is just like a really nice homely feeling to me right now because not only am I using my mum's cake book, but this is my grandma's cake tins, which is so nice to cook with. So it's just nice feeling like my mum's here, my grandma's here, and like, oh, I'm just so excited. I'm going to make a healthy banana cake, but make it like a birthday cake. So this is going to be a super easy banana bread cake that you can make as a banana loaf, your own cake, or as a birthday cake. I'm going to do the wet ingredients in this little small bowl. Three ripe bananas mashed into the bowl. Mush, mush, mush. And you love banana too. Do you want to have a little bit? Ah. <laughs> that was such a delayed sneeze. There you go. I'm going to mash this as smooth as I can. I'm going to do half a teaspoon of vanilla extract or vanilla essence. You can use vanilla bean powder if you have that as well. Then I'll be adding half a cup of any kind of liquid sweetener that you want. You can either use honey, maple syrup, agave nectar, coconut nectar, rice malt syrup. I'm just using a mix of agave and coconut, whatever I have available. And then this is really bad, but I can't find my actual liquid cup measurements. So I'm gonna do a dry cup measurement of coconut milk. You can use any kind of milk, Whoa. coconut milk, almond milk, rice milk, oat milk, hemp milk, normal milk, totally up to you. So one cup of that. Then the last wet ingredient is going to be half a cup of melted coconut oil. So you obviously measure it after you have melted it. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of coconut oil which is like solidified like this, into this cup. And then I'm just gonna microwave it, and then I'll measure half a cup. Oh. Easy. If you are not dairy free and you prefer butter, you can definitely use butter. It's just, you have to have some source of fat in there to make it nice and moist and not dry. Like, you know those cakes that are just like crumbly and dry? They probably don't have enough healthy fat in it. This is actually optional, not essential, but I find that it's a little bit more fluffy with one egg. If you wanna keep this vegan, you definitely don't have to add it. My coconut oil is all melted, so I'm gonna pour that in as well. Oh, I didn't even measure it. Damn, I'm supposed to like pour this into the half a cup. Oh well, let's just hope that's half a cup. We all know I hate measuring stuff anyway, so this was bound to happen, right? Wet mixture, pretty much done. Now on to, ooh. 
for the dry mixture. Do you guys like my new bowls? Because usually I bake in the bowls that you guys are obsessed with. My trusty pink cooking bowl, I love it. It was literally from Audi, it was like 10 bucks. I love it, but when I'm cooking stuff on camera, you can't see what's going on. So I thought this was much more appropriate and I feel like a proper like TV cooking host because they always use the glass bowls. Anyway, who cares, no one. Dry ingredients, let's do this. I'm actually going to do this properly because I have noticed a difference when I use a sieve. It just helps combine it all together, especially when you're using things like baking powder. So I'm gonna do two cups of buckwheat flour. In my opinion and from my experience, it acts the most similar to normal flour. It's really fluffy. So two cups of buckwheat. As we can see, I'm like very flexible and like not specific and not too careful with my measurements. I'm gonna do one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, again, roughly, and then sieve that through. See, if I didn't sieve it, that would be all like clumpy and gross. So this just gives you a much smoother consistency, a much smoother batter. I'm gonna do one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, but I'm gonna put it in the wet mixture actually, one teaspoon. And this just helps activate the baking powder and again, make it more fluffy. I've really been enjoying erythritol lately in my baking. I feel like I can add a little bit less and it's super sweet. Coconut sugar is an awesome option. You can use raw cane sugar if you want, but I'm just really into erythritol. I like dabbling with different ingredients. So I'm gonna add a little less than a quarter cup of erythritol, but if you're using coconut sugar, use a full quarter cup. I'm gonna add a crack of pink salt. We don't need measurements of that, just don't be an idiot. I'm gonna add some cinnamon because Fox loves cinnamon, I love cinnamon. Who doesn't love cinnamon? My sister. We just won't tell my sister that there's cinnamon in the cake. So I'm probably gonna say like a quarter teaspoon of that. And then again, this is optional, but I'm gonna add some sliced almonds not slivered, but sliced. So I'll show you what they look like. It's literally just like slices of almonds. But I really like having some kind of texture and crunch and dimension in my cooking. In pretty much all of my baking, in my cakes, muffins, slices, you'll see some kind of crunch element in there. So no different when it's a birthday cake. So I'm gonna mix that together and then pour in the wet mixture. I'm really, really hoping that the cake doesn't stick to this tin. So I'm gonna fold this together. I don't wanna over mix this, but you just wanna make sure there's no dry pockets of flour. Fold it for a little longer than you think, but don't like, cause you're gonna get rid of all the air. And I want this light and bubbly. At your own discretion, lick and dip. I'm not afraid of raw egg. It's so good. I'm gonna add a little bit more cinnamon. <gasps> Should I add some ginger? Okay, this was not a part of my original plan. So I'm gonna add a little bit of powdered ginger, probably like a quarter teaspoon, just to give it a little bit of a kick. You know, that little bit of like, ta. It's gonna taste like autumn, even though it's summer. Is it still summer? It is autumn. <laughs> is it autumn right now, Kurt? I'd say so. <laughs> I'd say so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's autumn. Wow. I don't think I'm gonna risk greasing these. I think I'm just gonna use good old baking paper. I feel like that's a safer option. I'm gonna take my time. I'm like notorious for rushing everything and just being like, ah, it's good enough. But this is Fox's birthday cake and I'm taking this very seriously. Okay, let's do some cut and paste in here. Yep, 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 perfect. Yep, 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 yep. And then let's like, oh, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna cut out two Bases. You know like in maths and you have to make nets of a shape? Like if I had a cube and I flattened it into a piece of paper, what would it look like? I was never good at that. So, Fox's birthday. Let's just chat about it for a second. Obviously, if you keep up to date with my Instagram, which you should because I'm like too open on there, you know everything about me. I was planning a really fun under the sea party for Fox's first birthday and you know, first world problems. Now we can't do it because of the whole um, shutdown, lockdown, social isolation kind of thing. So it's okay, as long as he has a cake, he can open some prezzies. It's still gonna be a fun day, okay? Faces done. I need to get rid of this YOLO mentality because it doesn't always work out, but today I think it's going to because that is perfect. Do you know what? I'm gonna pour the mixture into that now before it like unravels. Let's throw it in the oven and pray that this works for us. Now we wait. You're going 
deadlift it up, you see it, see it here. He got so happy when he saw it, didn't yeah, he say? He did. He was like, <gasps> ready? Hold on. Put your feet up in the air. On this, yeah. yeah, I love this. I love this present. <laughs> Next present. <laughs> Happy birthday, Fox. Here's another one. All right, I'll open it for you. Look. See, he likes the boxes and the wrapping paper rolls. <laughs> oh, uh, good boy. <gasps> good. Yay. Oh. What's this? A toolbox. It's a toolbox. Look at this. They can help Daddy renovate the house. A timber screwdriver. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can't break that one, buddy. We don't break that hammer. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's got another hammer that he breaks all the time. He thinks it's the best thing ever, so he's trying to break this one. Next present. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge, mate. What's in this one? You gonna open it with me? Quick, pull. Pull that off. Break it, break it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, woo. What's that? Oh, look at his flow. He's dribble. <laughs> quick, quick, we're gonna open this up. He loves guitars. Ah? Yeah? Oh, oh, oh. He's so yeah. excited. <laughs> <laughs> so Kurt can actually play the guitar and I think that's why Fox loves the guitar so much because since he was a newborn, Kurt would put him to sleep by singing to him with the guitar. And he always tries to play with Kurt, but he's like gonna break it. So he got him his own little one. <laughs> Put it here on your lap. We'll have to tune it up later, but this is how daddy plays, remember? And you go like this. Yeah, that's Aww. it, good boy. Daddy's a bit out of tune though. Do it, mate. <laughs> F for Fox. No, that's Sage. <laughs> oh, ta, yeah, thank you. Got one more. And then mummy needs a copy. What's in there? <laughs> oh. Oh. T. T. For Tils. That's your last name. Oh. Mm, yeah. Good boy. Yay. Yeah. Mommy. Oh, that's good. Abby's having a good time too. Hey, mate. Abby. <laughs> Happy birthday, buddy. Oh, that was so cute. I know. He gave you such a nice cuddle then. Oh, he's loving it. Hey, I've got a great idea. I feel like we should make your icing. Uh -huh. Would you like to do that? Would you like to make your icing? Okay, it is icing time. So for like an hour, I've been soaking one cup of raw cashews. The reason why you want to soak them is because they obviously absorb a lot of the water and they swell up. And when you do blend them, they become so much more creamy. This is like a normal cashew. This is a swollen one. So one cup of that is going to be the base of my icing. And in true Sezzy style, I'm making this icing up from scratch. I don't really have a game plan. I have made healthy icing a few times, but I just just want to make a different recipe that I've never worked with before. The cake turned out so good. I ended up having it in the oven for like 30 minutes, like 30 to 40 minutes, I guess. So I'm just going to drain these, get all the water out of it. I don't know if I just like don't use it right, but I swear everyone's Vitamix stuff turns out so much better than mine. Maybe I don't add enough liquid. All right, so a cup of cashews. I should have just added the water, but that's okay. I'm going to do like half a cup of water, then we can always add more. Probably like a quarter cup of vanilla essence. AKA a little dash. Okay, I take it back. I do like the Vitamix. And add a little bit more water. Yes. 
Like that's such a fun consistency. Can I just say, can you guys hear that whippersnipper? Like the outdoor gardening? This guy, I don't know what's going on. This is what a whippersnipper is, okay? This is what a lawnmower is. If you have a huge stretch of grass, like a big patch of grass, you cut it with a lawnmower. And then you just use the whippersnipper for the edges. This guy has been whippersnippering for three hours. Three hours and he is cutting the entire lawn of grass with a whippersnipper. Like where is his lawn? He's a gardening guy. I'm so confused and it's driving us insane. Okay, Kurt is back so I can finally semi do something. This is really random, but I feel like it's gonna taste really good. I'm gonna add a whole banana to the mixture. We obviously need some extra sweetness. Again, use any kind of liquid sweetener that you want. So I'm gonna do, that's like one tablespoon, two tablespoon, three tablespoon. I balled three tablespoons of honey. Let's just blend that and see what the consistency is like. <laughs> It's a little bit watery, so we need to add some thickness in. One tablespoon of tapioca flour or arrowroot flour or cornstarch if you don't have that. Yes. Two tablespoons. I want to add a little, a little tang. Don't you love like lemon icing on a banana cake? I do. I'm gonna do half a juiced lemon. Lol says me that I want to thicken it up and now I'm adding more liquid. All right, let's blend that. This is looking pretty good. Like, okay, this is, it's a little bit runny, but I reckon we could put it in the fridge, see if it hardens a little bit. Let's do a taste test. It's really good. I like the taste of it. I will say it is quite dense, so I don't think you could have a lot of it because it is like really creamy, quite cashew coconut tasting. I don't know why it tastes like coconut, but it does. I think this is gonna be a good consistency once it's refrigerated a little bit, and if it's not, we'll just add a little bit more tapioca, starch, and buckwheat flour. Okay, food coloring time. Now the key is to add a drop at a time. I hardly, well I never use food coloring unless it's a birthday cake. <gasps> oh no, I just added like, oh, I feel like that's all. Ooh. All right, that is the perfect color. So I'm just gonna throw that into the fridge. Good bud. Yum. You definitely look like you're enjoying it. I hope there's no sugar in this because he's gonna go feral tonight. Oh great. Fox doesn't take much sugar to like go crazy with. No, he's mm. a baby. Yeah. Did you have a good birthday? Was that fun? Was it a good time? Mm. Come confirm. So good. Oh. Don't freak me oh. out like that, ma'am. Can you believe that next birthday he'll be talking to us? And he'll actually know what's going on. That's crazy. Like, I can't believe it's been a year. That feels so cute. I feel like now is the perfect time to wrap up this vlog. Foxy, I hope you had the best birthday. I love you so much. I'm sorry that it wasn't the under the sea party that we had planned. We adapted. You know, we made the most of a bad situation and you had a great birthday and you got amazing presents. And you got to play with lots of cardboard boxes, which you love. Thank you guys for all the beautiful messages that you've sent myself, Kurt, and you know, you haven't sent them to Fox, but they've been directed to Fox yeah. <laughs> through Kurt and I. Um, if you guys enjoyed these kind of home real vlogs, then please like this video, let me know, because I'll be sure to make more of them. And make sure you subscribe because I upload new videos every single week. See you guys. <laughs> See you.